Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for from now until August 27th, 2022. And this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. It's not going to always resonate for each and every one of you. So that's why the link to my Etsy shop is down below of every description in every description box. Anytime you feel like you need me to focus in just on your energy and bring you clarity, guidance, answers, head over there and I will be able to focus in on just you. All right, this is from my Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, something happening this week that's going to leave you feeling happy, happy. Something that you might have been like the time that clock was ticking, time was running out, finally getting that notice that you've gotten, you know, the job, the promotion, the bonus, the man, the woman, um, the house. But it's some kind of, some kind of news is coming in. Man, look at this brand new life and happy, happy. And this is the 11 card, 39. All right, let me see what else. For my Aquarius spirit. For my Aquarius. Well, it's already. And look at this, this wanted to come out, element of air. It's developing. And look at this, it's almost the same energy. There's something new, a new offer. Something new is happening in your life this week or in the near future. And it says, trust in divine timing. The element of spirit. Something is definitely in the motion for you. Communication is coming in. You could be receiving an email, a, um, a text. Someone is making contact with you that's going to feel like a brand new life is happening. It's going to be, I really feel like there's somebody that's reminiscing over you. It's like they're going through old photos, memories that they shared with you, 26, 27. And look, it's a bird. Birds bring in communication. Pay attention to feathers. There's change coming. For some of you, you might even find out that you're pregnant. For those of you that have been trying or looking for that. But it's like the birth of a new life. The confidence that you have, the breaking free, the emotions that you have towards something that you want to happen in your life. It says, it, unleashing the inner beast. Is happening for you guys. Multiverse can't wait to get to the tarot. Could be happening as very soon as the fall. Yes, the time has come for you to harvest, for you to have abundance and fulfillment in what you desire. Also, the goals that you've set for yourself. And look at that, the sun, the happiness. Feeling fulfilled, feeling abundant, feeling successful. This could be after a time of negative thinking, a time of something that might have happened, um, that might have ended, that you didn't understand why it might have ended. Obstacles, but they're being removed. Again, and second, third card of happiness, 
third card of things moving in your favor. There could be a reconciliation for some of you. At the bottom of the deck, wait, things will unfold. Summer waxing crescent, and then remember the fall is time for you to receive. So Aquarius, right now it's like hold off. Don't reach out to that person that you're thinking about. Um, don't fill out, don't send that resume just yet. Something is happening in the fall, but let things unfold naturally. Maybe don't put an offer in, in a home. See how it, full, it plays out. your energy, the energy that you're leaving behind, the energy of this week and the near future, um, what you're embracing and letting go of. Queen of Hearts. So you could be feeling the energy of someone. You could have your, your mind thinking about someone. Um, they could be thinking about you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It's like you, you're feeling like emotionally stable. You could have strong water in your chart, um, but you're feeling emotionally stable, but I feel like you have your heart set on someone or they've got their heart set on you. Look at this. Need I say more? The king and queen of hearts together at the bottom of the deck, the magician, the manifesting, the pulling this together. Let's see. The Empress. So you are in your air energy. You are feeling radiant. You're feeling abundant. You have your like your magical glow. You're being noticed. It's like you could walk into a room and people are just are smitten by the way you carry yourself, the way you, you know, you always look at the glass half full. Your third eye awakened. Like, no more illusions. You're seeing things for what they are. And you're making your own happiness with this complete lotus flower opening up and the butterflies, the transformation. You've been through a time of rest so you can clear your mind. Get that mental clarity. Quiet your mind and allow spirit to bring you answers, to bring you guidance. This is what you're coming out of. There could have been someone that has walked away from you. If it hasn't happened already, there could be a disagreement between you and someone. Someone you love. Someone of interest with romance and love. Someone very close to you. For those of you, it doesn't have to be about love. It could be somebody like a soulmate, best friend connection. But someone walked away. It could be you or them. And if it hasn't happened yet, it might be happening in the near future. You're embracing, you're trying to get like that balance in your life. The work, life balance. Um, the work, relationship balance personal life, dating balance. It's going to be different for each one of you, but you're going back and forth and you're trying to get balance in your life. Trying to get that stability and that fairness that all air signs seek. Again, getting that clarity and not being in an illusion and what you're letting go of. There could be somebody that is slowly moving towards you. With the Knight of Trees, the slowest moving energy. But whether you're moving in towards a specific situation into that new life, or there's somebody coming towards you, it's going to be grounded. You're going to be able to trust the offer. It gains stability. 
during its long travels. But I really feel like you're going to be hearing from someone. See, there's a walking away. I'm definitely going to clarify that, guys. Two Eight of Cups. It's like someone walked away. There was an ending. But I feel like Aquarius, this is you walking towards the light, the light at the end of the tunnel, taking in that Empress energy. Healing and creating that glow around you again. Could be somebody that walked away from you that you might have met through work or through a co-worker that knew them, but I really feel this offer coming in is one that they want to be with you, they want to work on things with you, be a team player. I feel like they're keeping an eye on you also. Could be a brand new person, not the person that walked away per se, could be with reconciliation here, but for some of you it's going to be a brand new person coming towards you with an offer. It's like you're walking towards that light, and here is a brand new offer. And like I said, it could be a younger earth sign. So it could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it's going to be an offer of stability, of abundance. Maybe you even had a falling out with like a sibling or a child of yours that is an earth energy and they're coming towards you with an apology but there's your energy mentally grounded mind over matter I feel like some people might even be a little bit intimidated to come towards you they know how far you've come you're in charge of your own happiness and you've made it for yourself they might be afraid to approach you But there's the leap of faith. See that happy, happy, that new life? You're going to take that leap of faith. And it's going to have you leaving being so happy. The next card would have been com the communication. The rapid progress. Full speed ahead. Cupid's arrows. And there's the keeping the eye on you. The page of swords at the bottom of the deck. There might have been some struggles with this person if it is somebody coming back from the past, never feeling like you could really reach the top with this person. But I think both of you just had to get balance in your life. Both missing each other and having anxiety over this, like I said. And there's that soulmate connection, the happiness. For some of you, it's going to be a brand new person. For others of you, it's going to be someone that returns from the past. For those of you that are already with someone, this could be, like I said, a child, like you might have had a disagreement with one of your children or your sibling. And now they're coming towards you with the offer, with the apology. What else do you have for my equipment? Oh, I wanted to come out open to abundance. Believe you deserve. Accept plenty and prosperity. Aquarius, you're going to have to let me know what's coming your way. It's definitely something that's going to be keeping you, making you feel like on top of the world. Like your best life is ahead of you and it's leaving you so happy. you got to let me know how it resonates. And 39, prepare for rapid spiritual growth. Be ready for opportunities. You might feel that you have a connection to animals. If that stands out, pay attention to feathers. Another rainbow. You might love sunflowers. But there's two rainbows here. There's nine, six, seven, eight. There's eight, eight. We have repeating eights, repeating nines. Mm. Repeating four is four, four, four. So you're being divinely guided this week. 
I feel like you always are. I hate saying that. It's not just this week. It's all the time. But what is coming towards you this week and in the near future is divinely guided that you offer that someone thinking about you from afar, fall being your time of harvest for, your, for you to receive the happiness from my Aquarius. mysterious there's more to me than what you see there's more to me than what you see that's cute that rhymes and then relieved i am calm and relaxed all right guys let me know how this resonates for this week on and the near future you remember it's always when it's divinely guided to you in universe's timing and perfect timing all right have a great week and stay safe